In this video, we're going to look at using filters to find books. Our basic search for poverty has given us over 600,000 results. That's a lot to go through and nobody's got time for that. Instead, you would use these filters on the left-hand side. If you haven't already watched the first video, I highly recommend that you do. And since I'm working on the presumption that you have, I want you to still be thinking about how similar this page looks to a Kijiji search results page. We've got broad search results in the middle, and then all the ways that we can filter along the side. Let's say that you only want to look at print books. As you can see, there's video recordings and ebooks on here, but you just want to be looking at what print books you can access. You would limit to that result by selecting print books, and there you have it. There are 180 books at GPRC with poverty as a key word. So that means that it could appear in the title or in the subjects or in the text or the abstract. There are a couple of helpful things that you can do from this point. You could sort all the results by relevance and date newest so that you're looking at the most recently published materials first. You can see over here on the left hand side that there's a publication date. So just like Kijiji where you could scroll over for distance, you can do the same for year. So we can look at books that have been published only since 2000. That got rid of about 60. We could also type in a new year. So we're only looking at books that have been published within the last 10 years. Now remember when we looked at a record in the first video? You want to be reading the title and then reading and considering this need to know information and then looking at the subjects. Remember how important the subjects are, because each record is tagged with these subjects, which are keywords or phrases that capture the core concepts of the piece of information this record represents. Pay attention to these. Write them down. Maybe use them again in the near future. And think about whether or not they tell you if this particular piece of information is helpful for your research purposes or not. If I look at this one, although it does seem interesting, I can see the poverty doesn't appear. So poverty might be addressed in this book, but it's not a core concept of it. I can also see that it's currently checked out. So then what I might do is just go through the rest of the results, taking the same kind of considerations until I come across this book, Inequality, What Can Be Done? I can see that it's quite recent. It was published in 2015 and it's published by Harvard University Press. So it's a university press, so that makes it an academic source. If I look at the subjects, income distribution, poverty, equality, and welfare economics, this might actually be much more useful for me for my research purposes. I can see that it's located here. It's on the shelf. It's currently available. And this is the call number. So this is like the address of the book on the shelf. It's in alphanumeric order. If you ever have problems accessing or trying to find a book, just come and see a library staff member who would be more than happy to help you out. So these are all books that are available here in Grand Prairie. Again, like Kijiji, the system knows where you are, so it's filtered to only show your results from Grand Prairie. But we partner with other libraries, and if you'd like to see what's available from those libraries, you can remove the filter that will only show you results from Grand Prairie, and you can see that it's opened up the results quite a bit. But once again, we're back in the same problem or issue as before, where a concise history of modern Korea might address poverty in some aspects and might not, not actually be what it is I'm looking for. So what you could do from here that's quite helpful is limit by subject. This little list appears if you select show more, a longer list appears. So these are those core concepts of a piece of information. I can see that poverty Canada is here. So I could select that. I could also select poverty in developing countries if that's what I was more interested in. But let's say for the purposes of my research, I'm specifically interested in poverty within Canada. So now we have 96 books and I can see that result number five about Canada poverty might be quite useful for my research. It's at McEwen University in Edmonton, and it's currently available. If I'd like to order it in, I can just click that link. I'm brought to this page, and then I would select Place a Hold. Enter your library barcode number, which is on the back of your student ID card, and the PIN is the last four digits of that long number, and then select Grand Prairie as your pickup location. And it's at no cost to you. This book about Canada 
should arrive between three to five business days. Remember, this was a short and basic guide to finding books using the library website. There's much more to learn. If you have any problems throughout this process regarding this or something else, you're always more than welcome to use our live chat service, which is available during business hours. You can also reach us in other ways. From our main page and underneath About Us, you can see that we have more contact information options here. So you could phone us, you could email us, and then of course you can always come and see us at the library. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.